But I won't kill you, Dean. Your death. And that mark on your arm is the first curse. Nothing can kill you. Okay, well, forget killing me. Can you get rid of it? I could. But? Creatio ex nihilo. God created the earth out of nothing, oh. So your Sunday school teacher would have you believe. Well, so Genesis is a lie, eh? Shocker. Before there was light, before there was God and the archangels, there wasn't nothing. There was the darkness, a horribly destructive, amoral force that was beaten back by God and his archangels in a terrible war. God locked the darkness away where it could do no harm, and he created a mark that would serve as both lock and key which he entrusted to his most valued lieutenant, Lucifer. But the mark began to assert its own will, revealed itself as a curse, and began to corrupt. Lucifer became jealous of man. God banished Lucifer to hell. Lucifer passed the mark to Cain, who passed the mark to you, the proverbial finger in the dike. Well, that is just fan freaking tastic, isn't it? So I could remove the mark, but only if you will share it with another to ensure that the lock remains unbroken and the darkness remains bound. That sound right to you? This is good, Dean. This is good. The, the mark is off your arm. Nothing crazy happened. You get your baby back. Yeah, I'm sure everything's perfectly fine.
Where's the car? It, it's a uh, bit. About a mile that way. What? Seriously? The, the darkness hit. You disappeared. You remember none of this? Hold on! She saved me. What? Who? The darkness. Well, now that you've said your thanks, let's talk about what happens next. I like it here. With you. I haven't felt this peaceful in a long, long time. Well, let's get something straight. I'm not here to bring you peace. I know what you are. Really? I've been gone so long, I didn't think anyone remembered. Well, death painted a hell of a picture. I don't know this death, and he doesn't know me. Are you saying I shouldn't try to kill you right now? Am I saying that? Or are you? You're as bad as they say you are, why haven't you hurt me? For the same reason that you'll never hurt me. We're bound, Dean. We'll always be bound. You helped me. I helped you. No matter where I am, who I am. We will always help each other. You saved my baby girl. Her name is Amara. Did you hear that? It sounded like raccoon. That was not a raccoon. collected these things, but I always thought they were so raw. Don't worry. She won't care. I cut her throat. Why did you do that? Because this woman doesn't have a soul. Fascinating. What are you talking about? How's that even possible? Amara's hungry. She's a growing girl. Where are you going? To see the child that eats souls. You don't get what that thing is. Enlighten me. Come on, darling. Don't play coy. I think Amara is the darkness. Interesting.
the mar. I'm hungry. Of course, puppet. But tell you what, maybe we should have a chat first. I said, I'm hungry. You're an angel. Do I look like a whiny wing suck up? Well, then what are you? I want to be like you. Midnight snack. I'm sorry, my dear. You're grounded. <gasps> You're strong. But you need to remember, I'm stronger. For now. Do you know how disturbing it was to realize that I couldn't bring myself to kill you? I've had tons of chances over the years, some you don't even know about, but still, I made my peace with it, embraced my softer side, learned to accept that there was just too much going on between you and I. Bromance. But you know what? I think I am gonna kill you today. I feel different somehow. Ready. What can I say? Fatherhood changes a man. I don't think he's all that interested. He doesn't even seem to be around. Believe me, I've searched. Stop right there, sister. Beg for his forgiveness or face his terrible wrath. Really? Gets annoyed, does he? His wrath comes in many forms, but only God is able to create the fearsome plague and destruction that all on earth must bow before. Justice is mighty. You mean something like this? Testing us? God, you mean? No. But let's just say he's not the only game in town. You felt my presence. 
That's why you came here. You grew up? Yes. So this is you now? Uh, at least for today. You misunderstand my purpose on Earth. Well, do I misunderstand the people you butchered in that park? Or in that church? I had to get his attention. His? God. I tried praying, calling out in need. He ignored me. He forced my hand. I had no other reason to harm his chosen. My issue is with my brother, not his creation. Whatever the deal is between you two, Whoever threw the first punch, whoever was daddy's favorite. There was no daddy. Whatever. That mess is your mess. It's between you two. You're taking people's lives. You're taking their souls. I consumed their souls. They are gone. They're a part of me. And in that way, they live forever. Something's out there. Mm, always is. This is new. Something's changed. Maybe Dad picked up on your latest slaughter fest. Spoiled brat. I needed solitude and he needed a fan club, so he made all that. And when I complained, he stuffed me in a hole for eons with your help. Stop whining. I don't need this. Ugh. you, Dean. It's been a while since we've spoken. I'm aware my brother has surfaced. If you should cross paths, if he should reach out to you, he should know this. Lucifer, his favorite, isn't doing so well. To say nothing of the vessel, your friend Castiel. By choosing to ignore me, my brother is allowing this to happen. These and other things. I thought you should know. Why not at least consider my offer? This world is flawed, I'll give you that. But I am not ready to say goodbye to it just yet. But one way or the other, you will. It's inevitable. My brother won't stop me again. Because he can't. Dean, give up your smallness. Your humanity and become boundless within me. What is it exactly that you want? Will you make the world of bliss and peace? What's in it for you? What I deserve. Which is? Everything. Everything. I was the beginning. And I will be the end. I will be all that there is. So you're... You're it. That would make you God. No. <laughs> God was the light. I am the dark.
Then what? That's all you need to know for now. You had to know that was pointless. I know that you're a warrior, and your instinct is to resist. But... I can't be resisted. Was that the future the inevitable result of our first meeting what you've been feeling since that moment what we both felt that we're bonded you're the one who set me free no that was an accident it was destiny you bore the mark i am the original mark you and I will be together. No. No, that's, that's not gonna happen. It's so simple, Dean. We will become one. Why wouldn't you want that? Amara. You're going to surrender to us and to the judgment of heaven. Why ever would I submit to anything of God's creation? Tell your master to come fetch me himself. All of heaven's on high alert. If you resist, each and every angel in the skies will smite you in a single unified blow. Not even you could survive it. Whoa, 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 fellas, dial it down a bit, okay? Look, if you take her down, a whole bunch of people are gonna die. We're at the point where sacrifice is inevitable. Tomorrow, no! <laughs> Castiel. Amara. What did you do to her? I consumed her. Her grace, her spark, her memories, everything. She... Oh, she really hit the spot. Seriously? I mean, heaven brought the thunder and it barely even scratched my paint shop, but... You and a shiny knife. Sure, that's gonna work. You think I'm afraid to die? I know you are. 
You reek of fear and self-loathing. <coughs> Ooh, scary. <coughs> She's right, you know. You are expendable. And weak. And why God took a special interest in you, I'll never understand. My brother always did have horrible taste in men. Just do it. Blue eyes. They aren't even worth the effort. And no offense, but you look a bit used up. Plus, I have a job for you. I'm sorry, my lord. I tried to. Yes? Oh, good. The angel's here. What's happened? Amara. She's... She's alive. She... She sent this message. I am coming? Is that a threat? Or a promise? Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Maybe I should try a little test. I think that's her. Oh, well, that was a little payback, ladies and gents. I don't think Auntie Amara appreciated your little half-assed smiting. Secretary. You were kidding with that, weren't you? He meant well. Spare the universe. Spare this. Sparing. None of you. What? Happened? 
happen? Occasionally, I do answer a prayer. Do you know where he is? I won't tell you. You won't have to. The question is, how am I going to repay you? January! That tickles. Do you really think the power of one witch can hurt me? I'm not just one witch. January! Lucifer, dear nephew, my, how you've changed. I was tracking her when she left my side. You are safely sealed away. You're gonna wish you'd stayed there. to have a nice long chat. for trying.
luck. I know you have a major beef with me. You probably want to finish me. But you may want to rethink your position. Because I could actually be of use to you. Really? You hadn't considered? We both have an axe to grind with God. I know his soft spots. He can't handle us both. Do you for one moment think that I would actually consider trusting you for anything? I did trust you once. You and my brother conspired to seal me away for eons. But you're right. You might be of some use to me. All right. Good. Now we're talking. As God's favorite, his first son, that you may be the one thing in all of creation that he still cares about. The one thing that could finally make him show himself so that I can confront him and he can acknowledge the wrongs he's done me. And then he can witness the utter destruction of all his creation before he himself is swept away. You're expecting him. Huh. Wow. I wouldn't wait up. I'm pretty sure he caught the last train out. Well, we'll see, won't we? Lucifer. Call out to him. Beg him to save you. <laughs> you want me to beg Daddy to come rescue his screw up of a son? <laughs> I'm no fan of Pops, but he did make all of, you know, everything. And that's something that you could never do because all you ever wanted was nothing. It's not too inspiring, is it? You're strong, Amara. You may defeat him, but you will never be him. You have to understand this about the darkness. She's relentless, a force beyond human comprehension. It's the only reason I came off the sidelines. for death because of you. What was my crime, brother? The world needed to be born. 
and you wouldn't let me. Amara, you give me no choice. That's your story, not mine. The real reason you banished me? Why I couldn't be allowed to exist? You couldn't stand it. And we were equals. We weren't great or powerful because we stood only in relation to each other. What? Drunk? Why did you bring me here? Brother, I... In the beginning, it was just you and me. We were family. I loved you, and I thought, I knew that you loved me. I did. I do. But then you went and you made all these other things. I hated them. I hated you for needing something else, something that wasn't me. You think you made the Archangels to bring light? No. You made them to create lesser beings. To make you large. To make you lord. It was ego. You wanted to be big. That's true. But it isn't the whole truth. There's a value, a glory in creation that's greater and truer than my pride or my ego. Call it grace, call it being. Whatever it is, it didn't come from my hands. It was there, waiting to be born. It just is, as you and I just were. Since you've been freed, I know that you've seen it. Felt it? It didn't have to be like this. I loved you, brother. <sighs> well, you've won again. <sighs> Finish it. Kill me. I'm sorry. No. No. No! no. 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 I'm so sorry. No. Not again. Not ever again! <laughs> I'd die a million times. I'd murder you a million more before going back there. Tell me, if you won't change, why should I? Amara, no!
Welcome to the end. And then you locked me away. And all I could think about was making you suffer. You had your reasons. I did. I thought revenge would make me happy. But I was wrong. What you've made beautiful. It took me a long time to see that. I know that we can't go back to the way things were. I don't want to, but I wish, I wish that we could just be family again. I do too. I think we're just gonna go away for a while and... Hey, yeah, the family meeting, I get it. Dean, you gave me what I needed most. I wanna do the same for you. Mom? What? What is it? I don't know. You need me. Of course I need you, Amara. You're my big sis. You've never needed me. What is going on? Oh. Shoulder. Those shoulders, jankies. Something happened. You're not complete. You're not at full strength. And you're afraid. Going somewhere? Yes. Great. Where are we headed? Alone. I'm going alone. Amara, we've been all through this. We belong together. Yes. Yes, yin yang, balance of nature. I am willing to coexist with you, brother. In the universe. Just not, you know, anywhere near you. Hey, don't test me. I front the group. You sing back up. Oh, really? Because you're God? Amara, just don't. 
Even on your best day, you couldn't force my hand. And this is not your best day. In fact, I don't think you can do much of anything. Well, a few parlor tricks, perhaps, but you can't leave this world, not without my help. And me, I'm done, Chuck. I've changed, I've adapted, I've, I've become the better me. And you, you are still the same, petulant, narcissistic, so I'm leaving you here. Once, long ago, you sealed me away. Now, in a way, I'm doing the same to you. You're trapped, diminished, abandoned. So I guess you got what you've always wanted. You're on your own. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Wayward Winchester for more awesome supernatural content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Hmm. Amara, no! No chick flick moments.